I have a proposition for you, Marcy, and I think you'll find it very interesting. Since the moment Amphibious Season 2 began, one big mystery has been dangled right in front of our faces at the beginning of every single episode. How and why Marcy will betray Anne and Sasha by extension. Was Marcy going to be just like Sasha? A friend of Anne's who doesn't always treat her like a friend, but instead pushes her around with manipulation in order to get what she wants. Of course, once Marcy made her proper debut, we got to know her, the fan base immediately declared her a new favorite, and if one thing was made clear about the whole betrayal thing, it was that such a situation would not result from malicious intent. It's not something Marcy would be plotting to do all of this time. But that doesn't mean it won't happen, as the show has began to set up this very act at the end of the mid-season finale. So today, I want to throw my hat in the ring and speculate on how exactly King Andreas will manipulate Marcy into recovering the Calamity Box for him once all three stones are recharged, and what this would mean for Marcy's character alongside her relationship with Anne. And Sasha, I guess, but you know, those paths haven't crossed in Amphibia yet. And for more content on Amphibia alongside other cartoons old and new, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. And before we dive in, quick message from our Patreon. We want to take a moment to thank our amazing patrons who, believe it or not, really has helped us out through 2020 with their support. One of these patrons include Nitro, who's launched a Kickstarter for the first installment of their graphic novel series, Boondoggle. To directly quote the Kickstarter, presented in a soft trade paperback book, this first chapter of an epic fantasy adventure tells the tale of a young, quixotic humanoid turtle venturing out in a treacherous, cynical world so he can save the family farm. I'm partial to turtle characters. They're sweet, and frankly, all the designs presented here are charming. It kind of gives me big Sly Cooper vibes, with a throwback style we need more of these days. But in order to properly compensate the team and make this novel the best it can be, they need to reach their goal. I personally will be making a contribution, and if you're interested, I hope you're able to as well. Link to the Kickstarter will be in the description. If you want to go the extra mile to support the roundtable, head over to our Patreon. Shoutouts are our highest tier. Now on to the video. From the moment Anne and the planner stepped foot in Utopia, King Andreas was ready to start the game. Which, from the major revelations that followed, certainly is him obtaining a fully recharged Calamity Box for his own gain. Although that game may not be for completely selfish reasons, if he's trying to save a certain pair of people. And although this game he's been playing with Marcy and Anne thus far has mainly comprised of him acting normal, playing dumb to continue to provide a grand adventure, while also ensuring he doesn't look suspicious, and being extremely accommodating to Anne and the planners, definitely as a means to gain their trust and let their guard down, his first real move came at the opportunity provided to him at the end of a day at the aquarium. This episode has begun to show the cracks in Anne and Marcy's relationship. A key trait of Marcy is that she operates off of logic, choosing to listen to her head over her heart. And this creates friction when Marcy concludes that Anne and the planner should separate in order for Marcy and Anne to quickly prepare for their journey to the Three Temples and shortly after find a way home. Marcy overlooking the nuances of the situation, how attached Anne has grown to the planners. And the idea of their time together being cut so short so suddenly, it didn't feel right to Anne. It hurt Anne. Something that Marcy recognizes in the climax of the episode. And adjusting the plan so Anne can travel back to Wartwood with the planners. And have Anne retrieve the Calamity Box for their journey. But being separated from Anne once more, feeling as if Anne chose the planners over Marcy, that has to sting as well. For the first major instance in the series, Marcy's brain and her heart are colliding. Her feelings? are illogical. What could be the solution? When it's finally time to go back to Earth, won't Marcy and Anne have to say goodbye to the planners forever? So won't Anne still hurt over this eventually? But they have to get back home. They have to get back to their families. They cannot stay in Amphibia. Or can they? This is where I believe Andreas's proposition will come into play. I know it's not a mind-blowing theory at this point to say, hey, Marcy may want to stay in Amphibia forever. Such a sentiment was already being brought to fruition once she was introduced, and we saw how much she was thriving in Utopia. She's evolved. She's grown. If it wasn't for Amphibia, Anne, Marcy, and Sasha would likely still be the same people they were before this journey, still stuck in this toxic trio. 
But thanks to Amphibia, they've all been able to come into their own, each of them undergoing significant development that will only continue along with the story. And that's why, if my suspicions about Andreas' propositions are true, I would find it kinda cool. Because I believe Andreas will use that crucial aspect of the story, the necessity of Amphibia to the three girls, and spin it into getting what he wants. From the time they spent together, I'm sure Andreas recognizes that Marcy values logic over everything. If we already know the homie out here playing 4D chess, then we don't need it to be made obvious to confidently know that he is a very analytical individual. And although he's yet to encounter Sasha, I'm sure he could already assume that she's making her own strides. Even if she ends up being the wild card in all of this, as she's the only girl in the trio who currently holds direct opposition to Andreas. But that still shouldn't interfere with his proposition to Marcy. I believe he'll present a compelling case to her. Marcy, Marcy, Marcy. If Anne doesn't want to say goodbye to the planners, and you don't want to say goodbye to Anne, wouldn't it make the most sense for you two to stay in Amphibia? I mean, think about it. Look at how much you two have improved! You're one of my top soldiers. Anne is a town hero. And if you two have made such strides, I'm confident your other friend is doing fine as well. So tell me, Marcy, if everyone's doing better than ever, why would you possibly want to go back? And this would go into Andreas' bigger plan, or at least, the version he'll feed to Marcy. Having Marcy and Anne embark to these different temples, and once all three stones of the Calamity Box are recharged, Andreas will meet with Marcy at a rendezvous point, whether it be the Third Temple or Newtopia Castle. Marcy will hand him the Calamity Box, and Andreas will make an arrangement so that Anne, Marcy, and Sasha can visit Earth, stay in touch with their families, but have Anne and Sasha join Marcy in the Royal Guard. So in reality, he can keep a stronger grip over the girls. Of course, he'd be leading out details of his true plan, which definitely has something to do with the other worlds. And I believe this argument will compel Marcy enough to go along with it, keeping it secret from Anne, and pulling the rug underneath everybody at the last moment, leading to an upsetting conclusion of Season 2, where Andreas Andreas betrays everybody, leaving Marcy and Anne's relationship fractured, and resentful at Marcy for keeping secrets, and once again going with the decision she felt was right, without keeping into consideration how Anne feels about everything, even if Marcy was just trying to make sure everybody won. Leading to an inevitable Season 3 episode where they go back to the Quarrelers' past and reconcile. Let's hope Sasha's involved too! But as always, these are just my thoughts, and I want to hear yours. What do you think? Do you agree with us, or do you have your own vision of what Andreas' proposition could be? How do you believe Season 2 will end? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts at RoundtableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Fox. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to Janky Bones for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of their amazing art, you can find them on Twitter and Instagram at BoneJanky, Tumblr at JankyBones, and subscribe to their YouTube channel. Link in the description. Help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Vox, signing out.